Hey, welcome back to Iron Man Darts. I'm Dave, Iron Man Darts on Grand Board. So if you want to play a little bit, a little Cricket 01 or Medley, challenge me and we can throw a little bit. Today, five dart games for beginners. Five games, whether you're a single player or multiple players who want to get better at the game of darts, these five games will help you get familiar with the board and the placement of all the numbers on the board. The first one is called Baseball Darts. So we're working with nine innings or nine numbers in this case, one through nine. So as a single player, your goal with your first three darts is to hit as many ones as possible and add up your score. You hit a single in the white, that's one point. You hit a triple, that's three points. You hit a double, that's two points. The best possible score on your first inning would be a nine. But it's the same thing regardless of number. So let's say on your second set of throws, you hit a triple. That is just worth three points, not six in this case. And then you continue on to three, four through nine. So each time you have the potential to hit a nine run inning. By the time you're all done, it's 81 points. So that is a beginner level baseball game, single player or multiple players. Each person goes up, hits uh, the one first inning and moves on around the board. An advanced version of this baseball game is only triples count or only doubles count as points. And then let's say you're going with one and you're gonna do a little more advanced game, you're gonna do triples. Each time you hit a triple, it's just worth one point, but you can only hit and score on the triples. Anything single or doubles doesn't count. More challenging is just to play a game of doubles baseball. Hope that makes sense. The next game is 501, the most popular game on the planet. 501, this is where you work backwards from 501 points down to zero. You cannot bust, but as a beginner, all you have to do is score a point. Once you throw at the board, you subtract that number from 501 and then get to zero. So with this game, it's very simple. You're gonna to try to hit a treble 20, 60 points, and work your way down. The goal is to hit the 20s as much as possible. You can split the bull, which means you can make the red 25, or you can make and make the bull 50, or you can make the whole thing 50. Your call is a single player, but that's the goal, is to go from 501 down to zero as a way to work on your game, and then just count your darts. How many darts does it take to get from 501 down to zero? A more advanced version of this is, is to go double in, double out. So you can only start scoring after you've hit your double and you have to finish on a double. A more advanced level than that is master in, master out. A master is any double or triple to begin and then you can finish on any double or triple. So if you have 60 left, you can either hit a triple, treble 20, or you can go 20, double 20, and there's your 60. So 501, you got different versions for a beginner, intermediate and advanced, but all you're doing is working your way from 501 down to zero without busting. The third dart game for beginners is around the clock. Very simple, you're working one through 20 plus the bowl in order. This can be a single player or a multiple player. Great way to learn the board, learn the numbers and the placement of numbers throughout the board. So what you're doing is with your three darts in order, you hit a one, you hit a two, you miss the three, so your next set of darts, you begin with a three until you get all the way to 20 plus the bowl. Best case scenario is 21 points in a row. You keep track of how many darts you go, it'd be 21. To make this a more advanced is to make it a triples around the, uh, around the clock. So you have to hit a triple before you move on to the next number. Even more advanced or flip them is a doubles before moving on around the clock. The fourth game for beginners is called cat and mouse. It requires two players to play. One person's the cat chasing the mouse. The mouse goes first. The mouse has three darts. The goal is to go around the board and reach your 20 again before the cat catches you. So you, you go first, you got three darts. The first one has to hit here, second and third. Wherever you end up is where you start the next time. So let's say you hit 20, a one, but you miss the 18. The next time you play, you're going for the 18. But the cat begins at the five. The cat has a chance. Once the cat catches you, you're dead. So cat throws five, 20. If it hits the one and you're on the one, it's over and you play the best of five. The per you just flip positions and now the cat becomes the mouse and the mouse becomes the cat and you flip it. So basically you're just chasing each other around the board and you have to stay focused on hitting your number because wherever you hit last is where you start the next round and the other person is trying to catch you. If they reach your number in their throw, game over, do it again and the first person to reach five games wins. The fifth and final dart game for beginners is my favorite, it is cricket. You can do a single player or a multiple player game. Multiple player is more fun, but either way, you're gonna to learn to be focused and stay on your target. So with this one, all you have to do is hit the number once and move on as a beginner game. So 
first dart, you hit a 20, go to 19, go to 18, great, go back to the Aki, now you're going for 17s, 16s, 15s, and then you finish off the bowl. Best score possible is seven. You go until you hit that number and then move on. So that is a beginner level game of cricket. Next step up is to make it a triples cricket game. So you have to hit the triple before you move on to the 19. Once you hit the 19 triple, then you go to the 18 and so on. In the very end, you can either choose any of the bowl, the whole bowl, or you can split it and have to hit the double bowl. That would be a more advanced game. The even more advanced game is to make it a doubles cricket game. And once you're happy with what you're doing, and you're familiar with all the placements on the board, maybe start playing online and play people for points. Those are my five dart games for beginners. Baseball darts, 501, around the clock, cat and mouse, and of course, cricket. So that's my video for today. If you have any beginner dart games you want to share, put them in the comment section below. We'll continue the conversation there. Until next time, I'm Dave with Iron Man Darts. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Adios. Mm -hmm.